Billy! Billy? Oh, he told me he'd look after the place today. Not like he really care at this point. We'll find a place, don't worry. Well, is it just me or is this apartment thing going a lot worse than you thought? We're just having bad luck. We're having no luck. Either the place is too small or the neighborhood's too expensive or the neighborhood stinks. Then there's the X Factor. Who's the X Factor? Me. People recognize me as a friendly neighborhood arsonist. And arson is not a good tenant. I don't believe they recognize you. Well, when they recognize my type, same difference. If we're gonna be together, we gotta find a place. I'll go make us some sandwiches. Sandwiches? Yeah? How's the uh, house hunting going? Heard you're having some problems. What do you want? I'm just concerned. I mean, it seems like everywhere you go, the landlord already knows who you are and what you're capable of. And I'm wondering, how is this happening? It's almost like someone is tipping them off about what a degenerate you are. Yeah, figured. Well, that's the other line. I gotta go. Tell Tammy I said hi. Tammy. <laughs> You'll never believe it. Mom, I have good news. I wanted you to hear it firsthand. Good news? I'm telling you because I don't want you to hear it from anyone else, and I don't want you to think I'm keeping anything from you. Okay, I guess this has to do with Jonathan. What are you doing? We found a place, and we're going to move in together. We found a place. Uh, Mom, are you there? <sighs> yeah, I'm here. It's at outskirts. There's a back room that's perfect for us. You want to live with Jonathan in the back room of his bar? It's not what it sounds like. Yes, it is. Are you still there now? Yeah. Don't leave. Did you fall down? Did you bump your head or something? I am just fine. You deserve better than this. I knew you would say something like that. And that's why you found out at the same time my mom did. Uh, she's probably on her way over here and you're going to back me up. Oh, 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 this is going to go really well. So you think Cassie's going to run her car through the bar? Or maybe it'll be enough just to smash some bar stools over my head? Are you afraid of her? Ha! Ha! No. I'm afraid of what she does to you. I don't care. Like, this place, we can make it work. I mean... <sighs> Is that... Uh, like... Uh, what a fantastic place. Or like... Uh, this place has potential! The stuff on the floor, or the spoogy stuff on top of the stuff. Whatever. We haven't quite figured it out yet, but it's growing. You're not living here. But, uh, this place is the answer to all of our problems. I mean, we'll save money on rent. It's near school. It's loud. It's noisy. It gets rowdy on the weekends when you need to be studying. And the speakers? Are right near our bedroom wall. Very thin wall. Do you want to live with me or not? Do you want the thrill of waking up next to me every morning or not, huh? Hell yeah. I want you here with me where I can keep you safe. You know, I'd bulldoze this place down and start all over if it meant I could live with you. You know there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Here, do something with this. Ew. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, um, could you tell me if one of your guests walked past the main desk on the way to their room? Sandy Foster? She's here. Well, hello. <clears throat> Thank you for coming. Even though I know you're here because you're upset. I suppose this was your bright idea? No, it was mine. So deal with me, okay? Honey, I thought we had made progress on Valentine's Day. I'm not doing this to stick it to you. This is what I want. What, to be the chick who lives behind the bar? Wow, dream big. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you two hash this out. I'll be back. Before you say anything, just look, okay? Look. Okay, I know. It just, it just needs a little bit of work. That's all. A little bit of work? Honey, you know, it is taking every shred of motherly restraint. You know what, no, I... How can I not say this is a dump? Oh, well, it's no palace, but... I mean, you know, when people start out, dumps happen. People just do what you can. Well... I'll tell you what, I don't care about what other people do. What I care about is you. Don't you feel that you deserve better? Won't be the first time I've ever lived in a dive. The only difference is I used to live in them with you. Honey, do you think that was fun? You think that's what I wanted? Well, this is what I want. This is where I want to be. Nowhere else but here. With Jonathan. finish our conversation. I was done. How do you think this game is gonna end? Not with you and Tammy living your sick little twisted dream life and not with me and Tammy being apart. This isn't a game, this is my life. And Tammy's. Better pry these doors open? Elevator accidents happen all the time. Yeah, they do. So do it! Huh? Hi, boys. What's up, Mama? Reba? Everything okay, Jonathan? We're fine. We just happen to run into each other. Like two bulls with their horns sharpened. We're playing nice. There's nothing to worry about here. Jonathan? It's all good, Mother. Okay. <laughs> Even your own mother thinks you're the one to be worried about. Good luck on the house hunting. We already found the place. We're gonna be moving the bed in first. I've lived in places like this. Places like this that let family services take you away from me. This is different. It's not a life, Tammy. This does not have to be your life. Mom, I'm inspired by what you've done for us. You know, every dump that we ever lived in, you made it as good as it could be. The room was gross. You painted stars on the ceiling. Put 12 locks on the door and you always had nice music playing. You remember all that? You may have been sad about the things that you couldn't give me. But all I remember is the things you did give me. I couldn't protect you then and I can't protect you now. But Jonathan can. I love him and I, and I want to be with him. I want to see if it can work. You don't have to... Bring me a housewarming present or anything soon. I mean, take some time. <laughs> Honey, I can tell you, no amount of time is going to make me okay with this. Well, then maybe we can find a way for you to learn to live with it. To live with me being happy and me trying to start a life for myself. I'd like to think you know what you're doing here. 
but you don't. And that is because you think I am suffering from some sort of post-traumatic stress or something. But you know what the truth is? And I, I haven't really told you this because I didn't think you'd understand, but I forgive him. What? I forgive him. And I want to try to explain that to you. Maybe just the two of us, you know? I'll call you. Yes. She's never gonna accept us. I just want her to be okay. You know, your mom was right about one thing. Mm. That you're no good for me? Yeah, well, that's obvious, but this is a no good place for you to live. It's good for me if it's good for you. Is this really the life that you want? I want a life with you. That's all I care about. Where'd you go before? I went to make sure that nobody gets in the way of our life. Oh! <clears throat> Do you actually think we can fix this place up? Learn from my mom. You turn a place worse than this into something warm and cozy. Mm -hmm. Just like home. <sighs> nice trick. But uh, my favorite trick of hers is the Edmund trick. Everybody hates the guy, then they get together and the whole town accepts it. I'd really like to know how they did that. And not everybody in town hates you. Right. Just the important people, like your mom. And do you honestly think she's ever going to be okay with us living together? I'll turn her around. Okay, it won't happen right away, but it'll happen. You sure about that? I'll wear her down. Look, I'm going to meet her at company. Right now. She might see you like Edmund today, but before long you'll be like Jeffrey. Is that a good thing? To my mom it is. I'll see you back here later. Don't get lost. Never. Johnny boy. Goodbye. Wait, 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 don't hang up. I just wanted to tell you how especially beautiful Tammy looks today. Wow, pink is her color. You stay the hell away from her. Oh, too late. Where are you, Mom? Where is he? What? Sandy. He's around here somewhere watching you, and if okay, I find stop, him, I'll just stop. kill him. Psst, chill. Whatever, let's go. Jonathan, stop it. I'm meeting my mom. No, not here you're not. Let's go. Where? To the bar. When we get there, I'll call her and explain, okay? Come on. Okay, I'll go. Look, I'm going to walk you to your car, and then you drive to outskirts, and we'll meet there, okay? Okay, go. What a nice surprise. Guess again. Do you think I wouldn't see through it? Through what? I'm sorry, I don't know don't what you're talking about. Don't try it, about. Sandy. Not with me. I know you're messing with Jonathan. Don't bother trying to tell me I got it all wrong, okay? I'm not going to stand by and let you provoke him. I swear to you, don't bad swear. guys try... 
And don't promise. I know you too well. And you know where all of John's buttons are. You just keep pushing them, hoping that he'll explode. So he'll do something that he'll pay a price for. Is that really what you think of me? What did Jonathan tell you I did? He didn't time? tell me. He didn't have to. Look, did you or didn't you see me at company and try to call John today? Well? Sure, I did. Not for the reason you think, though. Of course not. I was trying to cool things down, trying to make some peace before something does happen. Listen, the last thing I want to do is poke a stick at the gorilla. I'm not laughing. And I don't even have to provoke him. You know, he's ready to rip my head off anytime, any place without me lifting a finger. In fact, I have proof of it right here. What kind of proof? Jonathan's own words. If you and Cooper meant to be, you'll be. Don't involve me in your games. Oh, please. Love advice from the king of the acrobats. First of all, what are you doing behind my bar? Second of all, I'm not playing games. I love Tammy. She loves me. No games. Lucky you. Couldn't you use a little extra cash to keep Tammy happy? Goodbye, Lizzie. Okay, I'm leaving. Well, I'm not leaving fast enough. John's own words. Hear for yourself. Stay away from Tammy, or I will personally kill you. And then I'll go to work on you. Like I said, proof. So when Jonathan tries to tell you that he's worried about something I'm cooking up, you know the truth. He's just twisting you around like he always does. Fact. You know, I should be the one who's worried here. You're right, Sandy. You should be worried. Uh -huh. You know who he is. You know what kind of temper he has. You make him crazy, he can't control himself. He's dangerous. I know! Which is why, if I were you, I would leave town as soon as I could. You could get her. Leave. You can't stay in Springfield and wait for something to happen. Promise me, Sandy. If you ever loved me... If? Then please, do this for me. You go your way, I'll go mine. Okay, if uh, you're sure. I'm sure. Thank you. I better get out of here now. Wait, Tammy. You know how I still feel. How you do know how I feel. I know. Listen, um, just in case. What? Could you do me a favor? Of course. Maybe you'd better give me that tape. If you wouldn't mind too much, please. If I were you, I'd play it often. Miss you. Thanks. Wait, tell me if, if this is a goodbye. It is. Let's not make it worse, okay? Not even a hug? Take care of yourself. Ha <sighs> no, Tammy, we are not over. Jonathan cannot keep us apart. Wherever you are, I'm going. Hey, where are you going? Where were you? Who cares? I'm here now. Tammy. Look, I didn't want to tell you because, um... I knew you'd try to stop me, but I went to see Sandy. Unbelievable. It's, it's okay. Believe me. He, he's not planning anything. You think so, huh? 
He had this stupid tape of you threatening him. I have no idea what he was going to do with it, but I have it now. It's over. A tape? You saying that you'd kill him. I'll tell you the truth, it freaked me out when I heard it. I don't know what Sandy did to get to you. He used you to get to me. What do you think he did? He deliberately did that because he knows how to set me off. I figured that. But everything's fine now. Okay, whatever he had going on in his head, it's over. You sure about that? I told him to stay away, Jonathan. All right, I told him I can't see him or talk to him ever again because I don't know what you'll do. And you sure that'll take care of it? I'm not... I don't just think it. I know it. It's time to relax and enjoy our new place. Relax? Yeah. Midterm's gonna be a killer. Sandy, what are you doing here? I thought we'd cram together. You know, if we go through the notes together, no. we'll team up. No. Why not? You do want to ace the exam, don't you? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Nice to see you have such faith in your boyfriend. You're already going back on your word. I thought you meant to steer clear of you when you were with Jonathan. You didn't mean all the time. You did mean all the time. That's crazy, because uh, we go to the same school. We're in the same class. We're bound to run into each other, like right now. Sadie, we didn't just run into each other. Jonathan owns this place. So I'm supposed to just lock myself in a room and stop having a life? No, just have it somewhere else. Move on. Move on. Move on, Sandy, but I'm going to tell you exactly where you can and can't go. Does that sound fair? Nope. Just like it's not fair, I married a bigamist. But I dealt with that, so now you deal with this. When did you get so cold? Just leave me alone, okay? Do you get it? Just leave me alone! Don't you take that tone with me. There is no reason for you to pay for our dinner. Well, I'm not trying to buy you out, if that's what you think. I just thought that maybe for a minute... We can talk about... Okay. Maybe not. Bad idea. Jonathan. What's on your mind? It's about Tammy. What about Tammy? Well, we need to keep Sandy as far away from her as possible. Why? Because you're afraid she might go back to him? No, because the guy's losing it. I know the feeling. Sandy's always been a little messed up, but losing Tammy really pushed him over the edge. He's been harassing her a lot. What do you mean by that? What do you mean harassing? Basically, he's stalking her. So if you want to help your daughter, you better chill out about me, because it's going to take all of us to keep her safe. You know, you never would have spoke Jonathan. He's behind this whole thing, isn't he? You don't really want me to stay away from you, but Jonathan... Jonathan didn't tell me to do anything, Sandy. The idea of living behind a bar, that was all yours. Yes, it was. You know, I remember um, when your idea of a home was a sweet little cottage. 
I bought that for you. You know what? Jonathan torched it. You're not part of my life anymore, and how I live it is none of your business. But how I live mine is your business? Where I can and can't go, who I can and can't see? I just want you to stay away from me. Wait. I hate what Jonathan's doing to you. He's dragging you down to his level, and it makes me sick. I just, part of me wants to just... <clears throat> wants to what, Sandy? Nothing. Well, say it. Say how you really feel. All right. He's dragging me down to his level, too, because a part of me wants him to fall off a cliff again. Because believe me, this time I'd make sure he stays dead. You're saying Sandy is stalking Tammy? Ask Tammy if you don't believe me. Look, Cassie, I really don't give a crap whether you ever like me or not. But I thought that you'd be interested in helping your daughter. My mistake. You know, Jonathan, if you really cared about her, you would admit you are no good for her, and you would let her go. You are a hypocrite. Me? Yes. What about you two? You lied, pretend to be somebody else. Man, how do you ever trust the guy after that? But here you two are with your bottle of wine sitting all cozy and cute, judging the rest of the world. I don't claim to love Tammy. I do love her, and I'm going to protect her from Sandy. I thought maybe you'd want to help. But, uh, anyway... Jonathan. Hello? Hey. Uh, I'm on my way back home. Oh, um, I'm not there right now. I'm out. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just needed to get out. Outside of company. I'll be home in a little while. Oh, uh, you know, your mom and O'Neill are there inside. They are? Don't worry, no blood was shed. I saw them earlier. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I'll be home in a little bit, okay? Bye. It's not enough. I want it to be like it used to be between you two, and so do you. And let me guess, I have to accept Jonathan to get there? No, no, you. You know, you might help if you took a couple of baby steps and... Look, what if what he said was true about Sandy? He could pose a real threat to Tammy. Mom. I'm glad you guys are here. I need your help. Back to me real soon. I'm gonna come looking for you. Start looking behind you. Mm, I guess you missed me. Where the hell were you? Easy. What's going on? I'm cool. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Then everything's cool. So what are you so worried about, John? Oh. Nothing. I just wanted you here with me. Sandy came by today. Here? What did he say? Did he threaten you? No, Jonathan. He threatened you. I've already started laying the groundwork. What groundwork? A way to get John out of Tammy's life permanently. Interested? I think, Sandy, I think you've got this all figured out. And if you can think of a way to get Jonathan out of Tammy's life for good... I'd be doing you and her a big favor. Not to mention yourself, right? Mm. All right, Sandy. If you do go after Jonathan, I do not want Tammy involved. If she gets caught in the middle, you're going to have to deal with me. Okay, look. Tammy is... No, no, no. Jonathan's Tammy biggest weakness. is out. She is out. You don't call her. You don't bait her. You don't even look at her. Understand? I think you better answer that. That could be our Tammy. Hello? Hi. Jeffrey, what is it? Uh, listen, 
Your sister has been in a car accident. I'm at Cedars now. Oh my God, is Reva okay? What's uh, Reva? the matter with Reva? Never mind. Fine, I'm coming with. That's how the little weasel works. He smiles and he acts one way and then he comes from behind and just... I guess you know Sandy better than I do in some ways. Unfortunately. It's pretty pathetic when he gets desperate too. Spitting out those threats. What kind of threats? Lame stuff. Nothing to worry about. I'm afraid, Jonathan. I mean, Sandy's been doing really weird stuff. I mean, he had this tape of you threatening him that he played for me. Hey, have a little faith. I know how to handle Sandy. Ugh, this tape made you sound crazy. I mean, I, I took it from him, but he'll find something else to use against you. He will, I know it. Hello. Hey, Jeffrey, are you okay? Oh, no. I find out the guy who was driving that truck is messed Easy. up. She will be okay. She has to be. You bet we will be okay. She's tough. What the hell are you doing here? I came with Cassie. What? We drove our own cars, but I was there with her when she got the call about Reva. Reva is not your mother. We are not your family. I need to be here. What's going on out here? Mom, how is she? You know your Aunt Reva. She'll, she'll fight through this. Sandy says he was with you when you heard about Reva. That's true. Why? Are you Sandy Foster? That's me. This is for you. Well, what is it? A restraining order. You threatened Jonathan's life. That's a court order making sure that you stay away. From you. What? Must remain 500 feet away from Tammy Winslow at all times. Read for yourself. I don't get it. The order's supposed to make sure that Sandy stays away from Jonathan, not me. I can take care of myself. I made the call, Tammy, and I'll tell you why. You're the one that's at risk here. Besides, Jonathan's right. He can take care of himself. Good. Well... Since there's nothing stopping me, I'll uh, escort you out of this building uh, I, myself. I honor. think I'll do the honors, if that's all right with you, Sandy. You don't have to do this. You know I would never hurt you. just wanted to end, Sandy. My life is with Jonathan. I don't want to see you or talk to you. I just want you gone for good. No, I'm, uh, I'm through with it. Is she okay? Yeah, uh, we're just, we're waiting for some test results. Uh, Tammy, are you okay? I'm just glad you are, that's all. Jonathan, you want a minute alone? No, no, she knows I'm here. Talk to her. If anyone can wake her up, you can. I want to... Go out and get some air, too. Hey. Mama Bear. It's a cub. You're resting. You look good. It'd be really cool if you woke up right now, because... Some things going on. I wouldn't mind um, running by you. You're the only person that gets me, you know? Like, Tammy loves me, but you really get me. I'm sorry, I just wanted to. Oh, it's fun. It's mom sitting. She's all yours. She loves you a lot, you know. Yeah, well, she needs more than just me, so uh, when she wakes up, why don't you start talking to her again? I'll try. Just 
do it. I'm not the only one who needs you. All right, Sandy. Better get to you before you get to me. Hi. Where did you go? You know how much I hate hospitals. Seeing Reva lie there like that, I just wanted to go for a walk, you know? Are you okay? I am now. I just wanted to get it out of my system. You know how it is. When it's time, you just, uh, gotta take care of business. Are you up for celebrating this year? It's our anniversary. What do you think? Well, I would love to. But um, first, there is something I need to tell you. OK. It's about Sandy. Someone broke into his room at the Beacon. Returning to the scene of the crime? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm supposed to be scared because he broke into my room? You think because of our past, you can deal with me? You got rid of me once? Well, I will if you want me to. Okay. I was weak back then. I was a pussycat. Hmm. Didn't have anything to live for, nothing to fight for. I have Tammy now. That makes me scarier than you can even imagine. Mom, no more lectures. No more Jonathan is dangerous and blah, blah, blah. It's not today. You know, you're right. Jonathan is the last person on the planet I want to talk about right now. Because I would rather focus on our special day and on you and how happy I am that we are standing here together. Me too. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh Why is everybody so happy? Hey, Jonathan. Hi. Did I forget somebody's birthday or something? Today is the anniversary of the day that my mom got me back from foster care. One of the very best days of my life. Oh. Huh. That's cool. So, you guys celebrate it? Mom and I went through a lot back then. I got my little girl back. And I made a vow that day that I would do whatever it took to protect her. I let her slip through my fingers once. Never again. Thank you. Ah, I know how you feel, Mom, and I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. And I always will, okay? Never forget that. It's Hammy, honey. Okay, come on. Happy anniversary, Mom. Uh, Tammy. <sighs> Happy anniversary. I hate hospitals. Hey, Jonathan, just, um, just wait a minute. Um, What's up? Do you want to go back to your mom? Zoe, you've been being so quiet. I understand. I mean, I know it's a big day for you. That's not it. Listen, I have to ask. Did you break into Sandy's room? Yeah. I threatened his life, too. What? I meant what I said. Every word. This is serious, Tammy. No joke. Sandy is dangerous. I'll do whatever I have to do to keep him away from you. There's a court order. Sandy can't come near oh, me. That paper's worthless, and you know it. Maybe it'll work. You've seen the look in his eyes. This is not the same guy that you were going to marry. And we, we, we just let this happen? You need to let someone else deal with it, okay? You have to stay out of trouble. You want me to sit back and watch? No, no, you won't. No, I won't. And you've known, for better or worse, this is me. Does it scare you when I talk like that? Yes. And no. No, you're just trying to protect me. I will protect you. I, I just want you to stay out of trouble. Tammy. But knowing that you're willing to do anything to protect me, it's 
tells me everything I need to know about you and about us. I won't let anybody mess with this. Shh. Nobody. I'm sorry. For what? This whole day, this drama, it's your anniversary with your mom. Hey, I ruined it for you. I am right where I want to be. You dream dreams your whole life, and I don't want you to give them up for me. Look, it's not always going to be like this, I promise, okay? Us, it's not always going to be about having less. It's going to be about making your life better, and I can do that. I, I know I can. <laughs> I'm going to prove it to you. You don't have to. I want to. And I'm going to show you that there's a lot more that I can give you. A lot more. You know what life would be like if everybody saw me the way that you do? Boring? <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably. I'd take my chances. Well, you make me happy, too. See me for who I am, not who you think I should be. Is that a good thing? Yeah, that's a good thing. Would you still think so if I took off right now? Now? I forgot I have to <clears throat> do something. What? Just something for you. Us. I thought we were going to spend the whole day together. Well, after I do this thing, we'll be spending a lot of days together. Don't let Tammy know that I'm talking to you. Why not? No questions. Get outside now. I need your help with something. Wipe that stupid look off your face. She's gonna know that you're talking to me. Jonathan, I don't have time for this. Jonathan! Jonathan! Make time. I need your help. <laughs> Are you meeting Jonathan here? Um, well, that was the plan, but he had to go somewhere all of a sudden, so... N not that far. He's outside on the front porch with Ava. He is? I thought that... Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Tammy, he's with Ava. So? So... You can't trust her. Well, I don't have to trust her. I trust Jonathan. Wow. I guess you do. <laughs> so then you're happy being with them? It's working out? Yes. It's working out. I, you seem happy. It's just, I mean, isn't it tough? Practically, your whole family is against you guys. Well, your family was against you and Coop. That didn't stop you. Look how happy you guys are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jonathan just left. Oh, and here's little Mary Sunshine. Looking very guilty. I think they were plotting something. Would you stop? She works for him. <laughs> she works for Coop, too. It's a good cover. Did she or did she not hide that she was married to Sandy? You're making a big deal out of nothing. Jonathan, just... Mm -hmm. See? You are on to her, too. No, no, no. This has nothing to do with Ava. It's just, when Jonathan said goodbye to me just now, I, I got the feeling that he's up to something. It seemed like he needed to prove something to me. Jonathan on a mission. Talk about scary. I know. Hi. How's my mom? Oh, Jonathan. Yeah, they, uh, they released her. Uh, she went to the beacon with Josh. Okay. Cool. I'll check on her. Um. How are you guys? Everything okay? We're fine. What are you doing tonight? Do you have any plans? Why? Well, I wanted to invite you to something. Well, what did he say? I can't remember exactly. Um, 
There's something about it doesn't matter if we spend this afternoon together because we'll be spending lots of days together in the future. That is very interesting. You want to invite us to something? What would that be? Like the headbangers ball or um, like a voodoo celebration and we're the dolls? <laughs> you, you got any more? <laughs> no, I'm done. Good. Okay, what is this about, Jonathan? Lighten up. It's a good thing. It's for Tammy. She'd like it. She's going to like it. She'd want you to be there. It would make her happy, which is what I care about. Fine. Forget it. For the record, I tried. You know what? I'll try again when I get more information about tonight. Show up, support us, or just support your daughter. Your choice. What's that about? I have no idea. Ooh, mm, thanks. Yum. Enjoy. Um, Tammy? Can I ask you something? Yeah. You're a size two, right? Yeah, why? Oh, I, um, I'm just trying to bring in a little extra money, so I started filling out surveys for stores. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Um, okay. Okay. Um, do you prefer strapless or not strapless? What's this for again? It's a survey. Oh. Your idea of the most romantic vacation, country in? Or tropical resort. Wow, either. <laughs> well, if you, if you have to choose one. Um, I like country ants. <laughs> what store is this a survey for? Oops. Oh, looks like my order's in. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Don't you think? Mm. Hey, we have a floral delivery here for Tammy Winslow. Me? Well, that's what the guy said outside, so, um, it's for you. Thanks. Wow, who did this? <laughs> More surprises on the way, love, Jonathan. <laughs> Go, Jonathan! Oh, I didn't know he had it in him. Oh, he's so romantic. Although, not usually the flower type, but... Well, I guess this is why he took off the way he did to order these. Wait a minute. What did he say to you right before he left? He said something about you guys spending a long time together. And then he had that big talk with Ava, and now she's asking you questions about your dress size and where you want to go away to. Oh, my gosh. Tammy, that's it. What's what? Wake up, girl. Jonathan is planning a wedding. Your wedding. Oh. Maybe we could recycle some stuff from your last wedding. I don't think anyone would notice that all they really remember is that nightmare at the end. Okay, hold on, hold on. Would you slow down? Because Jonathan is not going to... He's not. Yes, he is. <laughs> but we haven't even talked about marriage. I don't even think Jonathan's marrying kind of... I don't know. Maybe he is now. What if he's going to whisk you away as soon as you say yes? To that country inn that Ava was talking about. Oh, my God. You guys could get married there. Oh, we don't even have a license. Oh, details. Where is Ava? we got to get her back here. We are going to put the screws to her until she cracks. I don't know where she went. Oh, what am I thinking? This is crazy. Would you stop? No. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, don't you want to marry Jonathan? No. Well, yes, of course. I just, I don't, I don't know. If you're worried about other people and your mom is going to have a stroke when she hears, you know, because the cousin's thing. Well, the cousin's thing breaks you up, too, remember? Does that mean I'm going to have to find someone else to be my bridesmaid? No. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to Hey! Knock, knock! Come where SpongeBob, Miss Lord. do that. That door was locked. I have my ways. You don't want to know about them. Just call me thoughtful. Mm. So what floral arrangement in this hotel did you swipe this from? Uh, the one on this floor. So, how's the old noggin? It's not old, and it's fine when it's not spinning. Ooh, perhaps a drink would help. Certainly in a festive mood this afternoon. Whose feelings did you hurt today? <laughs> I'm just happy to see my mom up out of that bed. Mm-hmm. What's the real reason? Oh, I'm feeling good about me and Tammy. 
Even though Cassie still hates me, even though Sandy's the thickin' time bomb. It's different, good, you know? I told Tammy something yesterday, something that I did. But nothing bad. Well, nothing real bad. You sure know how to reassure a girl. <laughs> I thought she was going to freak out about it, and she was totally cool with it. Well, because she loves you. Well, it's not just that, Ma. <laughs> She's always loved me, but I used to feel like she wanted me to fit into a mold, but now she just accepts me. For who I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't be fat. No. no. I used to wake up every morning feeling like I was going to wreck this, the best thing that ever happened to me. And then I was going to regret it for the rest of my life. I know the feeling. But I don't feel like that anymore. <laughs> I feel... <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this. I feel happy. I don't believe you. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad for you. I am. At least one of us is getting it right. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, stop doing this to me, because there's no living. God, I am so impressed with Jonathan. He, he really goes after what he wants. He didn't waste any time with the proposal or the planning that usually has to... He is going to surprise you with an actual wedding. But that explains the dress and them pumping you for where you'd want to go on your honeymoon. No, I don't think you would do it. I mean, it takes so much to set up, and, and on such short notice, I know, you'd want your family there, and they probably wouldn't show up, especially not your mom. Jeremy? Hi, Mom. Jeffrey and I just had the strangest conversation with Jonathan. Do you have any idea what he would be inviting us to tonight? Oh, honey, I'm happy for you. I am. I mean, a lot of people want what you and Tammy have, and some people get it, but then they screw it up. You think that's what I'm going to do? I didn't say that. Well, you didn't have to. Hey, come here. Okay. Listen to me. I'm glad that Tammy accepts you for who you are. I am, but that doesn't mean that you should stop trying to be a better person. Stop trying to be happy. <laughs> I love it when you play mom. <laughs> oh. uh, well, I'm afraid that a different way. I was to invite you to something. Would I invite you as a couple or just you? Invite us to what? Just something. Right? <laughs> something. What? It's a surprise. Uh, it's, it's a celebration. A celebration? Of what? <laughs> Show up and you'll find out. <laughs> I will be right over here if you need me. Okay, what's going on? Jonathan is acting all strange. Now I'm getting a weird feeling from you. Well, those are beautiful. Jonathan sent me these. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about, about how much Jonathan's trying, you know, how much he loves me. Honey, you know, buying a girl flowers is easy. Being the guy that deserves that girl? No, that's a different story. You see how happy he makes me. You must. Yeah, I see it. I just... I wonder how long it'll last. Maybe forever. And what if that were to be the case? I mean, what if Jonathan and I were together forever? You would have to accept him eventually, right? You wouldn't just turn your back on me? What if we had kids? Kids? God, why, why are you asking me this? I don't want to know. Okay, but why? Why right now? What's going on? Nothing. Honey. Are you are you trying to tell me something? Uh, sort of. Yeah. God, honey. You're not. Oh. Okay, well. You know, if you're in trouble, we'll 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 figure something out. We'll go over the options and Oh, we'll... oh wait, do you think I'm pregnant? You're not? you would come to that conclusion. Oh, God. <laughs> well, can you blame me? I mean, you're living together and you're acting crazy. Mom, Mom, and I haven't even made love yet. Not since when you first came to town. You haven't? No, and that is all <laughs> I'm going to say on the subject. I can't even believe we're having this conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> well, but if, if that's not what you were gearing up to tell me, then what, what is? Will you come, Mom? Will you come to my wedding? 
What's going on? Talk to mommy. Okay. How about this? Hey. You come with me right now. You help me make the arrangements. For? The surprise. Oh, <laughs> you love driving me crazy. You do. Okay. So we'll have it your way. We'll do it your way. I'll come with you because then I can find out what it's for. <laughs> Oh, oh, maybe not. Ooh, ooh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. You want me to get the doctor? No, 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 no. But I think I'm just going to stay here. You know, I'd love to come with you, but I'm just going to stay. I'm going to rest so that I'm ready for the big event. Whatever it is. Okay? Okay, I'll give you a hint. It is for Tammy. <gasps> What a shock. I want to sh show her and show everyone, prove to them how much she means to me. You don't have to prove that to anyone. It's written all over your face. Now go on, get out of here. Jonathan, you keep smiling like that, your face is going to freeze that way. <laughs> Your wedding? Jonathan proposed. Jonathan's going to propose to me tonight, and I'm going to say yes. No. No, honey, you're not. You've got to think this through. There's nothing to think about. I love him. You think you love him, but baby, you are so young. And marriage is a huge commitment. Funny. You didn't say that to me when I told you I was going to marry Sandy. Well, yeah, I did. Well, when I assured you that I was ready and that I knew what I was doing, you were happy for me. Be happy for me now. Well, baby, that's a perfect example. Because Sandy was wrong for you then, and Jonathan is wrong for you now. Don't you remember what he did to you and how devastated you were? If I could get past that, then why can't you? I mean, really, Mom. If I could let it go, why can't you let it go? Because I love you, and I don't want to see you full of all that pain again. Well, now, you see me now. Full of joy and feeling more love than I've ever felt in my whole life. And loving Jonathan back. Maybe sometimes love is not enough. Oh, what else is there? Sweetie, do you have any idea that you deserve so much more than Jonathan can ever give you? Hey, look, Mom. We keep having the same conversation, and it keeps coming back to the same place. So accept Jonathan or don't. That's your choice. But I really hope that you do accept him. Because if I have to choose between you and Jonathan, I'll choose my husband. I will.